Cheech here with Fly Fish Food and we have Skill Builder number eight. In this Skill Builder, which come out every single week by the way, we're gonna talk about thread control. What does that even mean? I'll show you what I'm talking about. The best way to put a bead on a hook. And finally, CDC collars and how to get the right length for the nymph that you're tying. Putting beads on hooks. Yes, it's simple. There's really no one way that works best, but this is how I like to do it. And I'll show you with both a standard hook and a jig hook. So here I've got the, the, the fancy master vise, and I'm just gonna take my hook and put it in the vise like that. Upside down and backward. That's how Brig likes to tie them. But we're not tying, we're just gonna put the bead on. Now I'm gonna take this bead, and I'm gonna rotate it in my fingers, until I can find the small hole. This is just a normal countersunk bead. And the vise just gives me that much more of a tool so that I can hold that. I only have to focus on holding the bead, not the bead and the, the hook. So it just holds it in the vise. Now you can just pop it out, push it over, and it's in the vise. Okay? Jig hooks, same type of deal. This is a size 16. You'll see that the, the bead is, is much smaller. Um, but the same thing, I just take the bead and I rotate it in my fingers until I can find that little, the little hole. There we go. And you just put it on there. Anyway, that's how I like to put beads on hooks. Maybe it'll help you. We're going to talk about thread control. I've strung up some thread into one of these man bobbins, just a simple uh, squeezable bob and it doesn't have a clutch or anything and there are a few a th uh, few things that you can do to have a much better control over your thread when you're tying first things first it's how you hold the bobbin okay so if you hold it you know on the on the edge if you hold it way up here you're not going to have you know as much control of the bob and they're designed to rest in your hand right here okay so what I like to do is this little pad of uh, fat that you got on those little fingers of yours Stick that bobbin right in there and then just pinch it with your thumb, okay? That is how you should hold the bobbin. I don't like to use the rotary or the, the tension bobbins because I have four little bobbin tension adjusters back in my hand, okay? So I like to let it sit in my hand, use my hand to, to make it more tense if I need to. But at, at the end of the day, I should hold my bobbin like this, okay? Once you have your bobbin held, the length of thread that you have coming out of your bobbin can, can come into play a lot. So if you have this much thread out, you're going like this, thread control suffers and also your shoulder gets thrown out, okay? And if you like to do one of these, um, it's fast, but the precise placement of your thread just kind of goes out the window, in my opinion. If you like to do that, that's fine. However, the best way to maintain thread control throughout your tying is if you took, turn your, your bodkin or your bobbin and you make it parallel to the hook shank, okay? And as you can see, if I do this, it gives me the best opportunity to have the same path of thread on this side of the hook versus this side. If you're wrapping at an angle like this all the time, you know, it, this is exaggerated, but your thread kind of goes back and forth while you do it, okay? So, Keep your thread relatively short, doesn't have to be super short, and just practice wrapping down and back up using touching turns. And if you have your, your bobbin parallel to the hook, it makes it infinitely easier. Those little tips will help you tie more clean flies. All right, I'm going to show you how to add proportionate legs to your, uh, your little like Euro jigs or nymphs or whatever you want to do, okay? I have this really nice piece of CDC. So I'm gonna use half of this and I'll show you how I prep it. So I'm gonna get rid of the butt. And now, like these fibers are way too long for this fly. So what I'm gonna do, and Brigham told me I had to shout out my daughter Audrey because she knows how to cut hair. But this is what they do, apparently. They come in here with the tips. What I like to do is just kind of make a jagged edge like that. So now I've shortened the tips. I mean, because CDC doesn't come to a point like normal hackle. You can trim it. Just don't trim it straight across. Like get in there and, and make it jagged a little bit. Then I'm going to grab the CDC clamp or whatever cl uh, CDC clip you like. And I'm just going to grab onto that. Now, if that's still too long, 
I can just grab it and pull it further out. Okay, so there we go. That looks good. I want this to be kind of an aggressive, a little bit longer. Then I'm just going to get rid of the excess here. And then if I flip it over pointing me, like with this point, it just gives you a better chance to get in here with your fingers. You don't have to come up here and try to angle your scissors anywhere. So anyway, I'll just cut off the stem. Now we've got just kind of a little CDC collar built. And you can see the difference between what's in the clamp versus what's on the stem still. So let's just tie that in there. I'm just going to make a, a shorter CDC or a shorter dubbing loop. Trim it or uh, close it off. And in goes the tool or the twister. And to put these in, I've done this before in our videos. We have full videos on just how to use this tool. But I'm going to put the whole tool in, move it up by the fly. And then as I back it out, I have my finger here and it's just going to catch in place. Boom. I, I only got half of it in there because I, I have a weird angle going. Anyway, this will still work. So here I've got my CDC in there. I'm going to twist it up. Let's see, I'm going to wrap that on. So as you can see, that's just really sparse. You don't need much CDC at all for these euros. And as you can see, it's going everywhere. That's fine. I'm just going to cross the bobbin and the, the thread twice. Get rid of the excess loop. Now I can pull all that back. And it with the euro kind of want a little hot spot on the head anyway. But anyway, so let's suppose that we still have a few that are too long. Just come in here, grab them with your thumbnail, and just yeet them out of there, right? It's like Brigham with everything nutritious on his plate. Yeet, it's out. Just like this fly. That's how to do it. Boom, it's gone. All right, so that's the best way to tie CDC legs on your nymphs and jigs. Check it out.